This view uh, through the centerline camera in the orbiter docking system of uh, the International Space Station as... Uh, well, the big loop, we're enjoying the view of the uh, station through the centerline camera. If there's a time when uh, you want to downlink something other than the centerline camera too, uh, we're okay with that. Okay, stand by. Atlantis and the International Space Station separated by 648 feet, flying uh, over China at the moment, moving from northwest to southeast. At the aft flight deck of Atlantis, pilot Doug Hurley is uh, at the controls as he uh, continues uh, the fly around that will take Atlantis to a point about 645 or so feet directly above the International Space Station a short time from now, then to a point uh, behind the station for the first of two firings of reaction control system jets in a two-step separation maneuver that will enable Atlantis to depart the station for the final time. The first of these two burns uh, scheduled about 15 and a half minutes from now. In the uh, space station flight control room, the uh, power systems officer has uh, reported and is keeping flight director Jerry Jason updated on the temperatures on the uh, longerons of the solar rays, the struts, if you will. The uh, temperatures are still holding in, looking uh, acceptable. No uh, issues at the moment. As Atlantis uh, continues its fly around, Once uh, the separation maneuver is uh, executed by Doug Hurley uh, to enable Atlantis uh, to depart the station, then uh, the International Space Station will be maneuvered back into its normal orientation for operations. Sandy Magnus and Rex Walheim are equipped uh, with a variety of digital cameras and high-powered lenses. Uh, they are documenting uh, the uh, exterior of the International Space Station at this unique view where the longitudinal axis of the station is being presented to them thanks to this 90 degree yaw maneuver.
almost almost directly above the International Space Station. You can see uh, the varying views, uh, the solar rays that are angled uh, through the beta gimbal assemblies uh, to optimize uh, solar array uh, absorption of sunlight uh, to be converted into electricity. Okay, um, we'll set up reflector four. On the far right uh, of the axis of the space station, uh, that is the Harmony module. Uh, in the horizontal position, uh, basically, as you look at this view, that's where Atlantis was docked to. And on either side, those two large modules at the bottom is the uh, European Space Agency's Columbus Laboratory. And uh, on, on the top of Harmony, as you look at this view from directly above the space station, is uh, the large uh, Japanese segment of the complex, the Kibo module and its external uh, experiment platform. Atlantis now beginning to move uh, to a position uh, behind the space station, maintaining a radial distance of about 685 feet or so. The fly around uh, going very well, and all of the space station systems looking good. Copy 10 Alpha. We think we're on uh, TCS Reflector 3 now. Uh, you got clipped off there, Steve. Which reflector do you think? Reflector 3, we think. Okay, uh, Reflector 3, Steve, and we're seeing about the 685 on the range on the HHL. It's been pretty consistent. Copy. You can see the jets firing on Atlantis. Doug Hurley uh, in control of the aft flight deck. Atlantis and the International Space Station separated by 685 feet, flying over the Indonesian island chain. Atlanta Station. 
Watch on the big loop. We see you from Sergey's bedroom window. That's great news. Thanks, station. You guys look good from here. Flight engineer Ron Garin admiring the view of Atlantis. Chris Ferguson responding. Doug Hurley uh, busy flying Atlantis at the moment. The orbiter is uh, behind the International Space Station. We're about six minutes away from the first of two separation maneuvers. The first uh, burn, a SEP-1 burn, is a 1.5 foot per second radial downward burn that uh, will uh, enable Atlantis to move to a position directly below the station for the final separation burn, a SEP-2 burn, which is a larger component, 10 feet per second, a retrograde burn that will enable Atlantis to depart the station for the final time. Houston, uh, we're going to auto the data on the radar. Here we go for that, Fergie. 